Breaking news, oh my people. I next chairman. Don't finally speak to Nigeria. I take sell our vote. I take carry our vote. Give a uh, Tinubu. My people, Mona, watch this video. Please, as you they watch this video, may you not forget to share. Her. Make we listen to what you want to tell us. My people, please, this video is very important. Help me to share it. God will bless you. God will bless you. More listening to. I next share my way, not get shame for high. We not get shame. We be say, he once said two millions of Nigeria votes. Give one person. It's not going to be possible, my people. So make I live on a moon and listen to them. Me will listen to what he get to tell us. Eh, we want hear what he want to tell us. He want to tell us how he takes sell our vote. Two million Nigeria votes. Give one man. So my people, I'm going share this video. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Raised a number of issues that require immediate, medium, and long-term solutions. The planning for the election was painstakingly done. However, its implementation came with challenges, some of them unforeseen. The issues of logistics, election technology, behavior of some election personnel at different levels, attitude of some party agents and supporters, added to the extremely challenging environment in which elections are usually held in Nigeria. We appreciate the sacrifice and togetherness of Nigerians and the dignity and maturity displayed by political leaders, even in the context of divergent views about the election. A lot of lessons have been learned. Of immediate concern for the Commission is how the identified challenges can be addressed as we approach the concluding phase of the general election, involving the largest number of constituencies, 28 state governorship elections, and 993 state houses of assembly seats. In last Saturday's election, winners have also been declared for 423 national legislative seats while supplementary elections will be held wow. in 46 Jesus. constituencies. Just watch, guys. In the Senate, Let's watch 98 this together. out of 109 seats you watch and have been this declared. Video. So week. far, seven political parties have won senatorial seats, while in the House of Representatives, 325 out of 366 Don't put noise, have guys. won join me by to watch this political party. Just parts. join me. In terms of and party representation, noisy, I know. this is the most diverse Sorry national assembly that. since 1999 <laughs> and is illustrated in the table I have provided oh, wow. in my speech. Check the Senate this for is the apple. Parties in the Senate are as follows. Mm -hmm. The number of seats. APC, 57 seats. APGA, one seat. The Labour Party, six. New Nigeria People's Party, two. People's Democratic Party, 29. Social Democratic Party, two. And the Young Progressive Party, one. For the House of Representatives, Parties are distributed and the seats as follows ADC 2, APC 162, mm -hmm. APGA 4, Labour Party 34, NNPP 18, PDP 102, mm -hmm. SDP 2, and the YDP 1 seat. Let's watch this Certificates video. of return will be presented to Senators exactly. elect on Tuesday, 7th March 2023, at 11 a.m. at the National Collection Center, mm -hmm. which is the International Conference Center here in Abuja. Huh? While members of the House of Representatives elect will receive so theirs the following day, Wednesday, 8th March 2023, mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. at the same venue. However, 
for effective crowd management, each member or senator elect should be accompanied by a maximum of two guests. The comprehensive list of all members elect so far will be uploaded to the Commission's website shortly. As we approach the Governorship and State Assembly elections, we must work harder to overcome the challenges experienced in the last wow. election. Nothing else will be acceptable to Nigerians. All staff found to be negligent, whether they are regular or ad hoc official, including collation and returning officers, must not be involved you guys. in the forthcoming election. Let's watch it to the right. end. Right. And also immediately what the disciplinary action happened. where prima facie evidence of wrongdoing has been established against any staff involved in the election, whether regular or ad hoc. Don't mind the noise at the background. Just stay tuned with me and watch this finalized video. before the election to the end. and handled by the electoral officers at local okay. government level. This has been our standard practice. Centralizing the process as was done in some states, resulted in delayed deployment of personnel and materials and late commencement of polls. Hmm. Resident electoral this commissioners will be held responsible oh, wow. for any tidy arrangements for the failure to deploy Today. electric power generators to collection centers or polling units where such facilities are needed. The commission has enough facilities in all the states of the federation. Failure to deploy them is simply inexcusable. Refresher training must be conducted for ad hoc staff that participated in the last election. While they are replaced for good reason, they must be properly trained so that processes are not delayed or compromised at any stage. Arising from last week's election, the Commission has received reports from our state offices as well as complaints and petitions from political parties and candidates. Why infractions of any kind are proven, there will be redress. I must add that any action taken by the Commission is without prejudice to the rights of parties and candidates to seek further remedy as provided by law. On election day technology, the bimodal voter accreditation system, the PIVAS, will once again be deployed for voter accreditation and reserve management. The deployment of beavers has gone a long way to sanitize voter accreditation, as can be seen from the results of this election. Since last week, the Commission has intensified the review of the technology to ensure that glitches experienced, particularly with the upload of results, are rectified. We are confident that going forward, the system will run optimally. Once again, the Commission would like to appreciate the patience and understanding of Nigerians. We do not take this for granted. We equally appreciate the patriotism of political, traditional, religious, and community leaders that are filled for calm. Similarly, the Commission appreciates the role of heads of election observation missions, some of whom are still in the country. We appeal to such missions to consider extending their observations to the governorship and state assembly elections, not only because they form part um, of the general election for which they are accredited, but also because they are important national elections. In the same vein, the Commission appreciates all domestic observers for their preliminary reports, which will help us enormously as we conclude the election. We also appreciate the reportage, the coverage, and the comments by media organizations on the elections. We look forward to the full reports of the election observers. We also wish to assure them that we will engage with them once again and all segments of the Nigerian society in a comprehensive multi-stakeholder review of the election in earnest. I welcome all our right to this meeting as we go into the working session. I thank you and God bless. Thank you. We want to know, speaking to the home, the usual